Howdy everyone. I hope you all are grand and are staying safe with everything that's going on with COVID and this new stuff that's developing with Omicron, but that, that's all stuff for another vlog. What I am here today is to tell you about how you can play Diablo 1 for free and in high definition. So um, I don't know if a lot of you gamers or hardcore gamers out there, especially for Windows PC, are um, in the know or happen to be aware of what's going on with Blizzard. So Blizzard right now, if you look at their website, they basically have it to where you can get Diablo 2, the newest one that they've released, Diablo 2 Resurrected, Diablo 3. They're almost about to release Diablo Immortal, which is going to be for iPhone and Google Pixel and anything that does iOS or Android platforms. But the biggest thing that's on gamers' minds right now is Diablo 4. And if you've been paying attention to all that stuff, right now, according to their blog, it's all in development. Things are going up, things are going down, just like how they are for Overwatch 2. So what about Diablo 1? Well, if you happen to be a hardcore gamer or an old school gamer who still has their original disc copy of Diablo, like me, I still I, I, I still play my disc copy, you know, I, I, I still have it and I love playing it. I even also have the, uh, the Hellfire expansion made by Sierra because, you know, sometimes I like to call myself a hardcore gamer. And uh, e even though, according to the original creator of Diablo, it sucked. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things to where if you're a fan, you'll like the content. But what about anybody that wants to play on today's modern gaming machines or on a modern Windows PC? It's not there on the Blizzard store. And if you go ahead and look around online, you'll basically come to this website, which is goodoldgames.com or GOG.com. And they have Diablo and Diablo Hellfire for sale for $9.99. Now, I don't know about you all, I paid a lot for my game, I paid a lot for Hellfire. I'm not going to go ahead and dump more money into games that I already own and quite literally are almost 20 years old. So why not get it for free? Why not be able to play one of the best selling games of all time without a disc? and? in high definition. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get Diablo 1 on your Windows PC for free and in high definition. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to ignore GOG.com. They're great, they're wonderful, they're awesome. In my personal opinion, all of the developers and people that actually made the games, all the publishers, all of the work that went behind each individual title should fall on the shoulders of the people that made it. Blizzard did a good example by going ahead and redoing Diablo 2 Resurrected, so why not just follow suit and keep up with that formula? It, if, if they were to remake it into like Diablo Inferno or something like that, awesome. I would gladly pay 40 to $50 for a polished, perfect looking Diablo 1 remake. But that is not the case right now. So um, on a quick note, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, right now, I'm kind of a little slow when it comes to putting up vlogs. I got a lot going on, but I was able to set some time aside to help some of you gamers out there by being able to play Diablo in HD. I already have the game installed on my Windows PC. I, I still run Windows 10. I'm not installing Windows 11. But um, as you can see, the graphics alone just on the intro screen to get to the menu are good. The whole game can be run in 720p. I think it does 1080p as well if your computer or your Windows PC is able to handle it. 
but the thing is freaking flawless and it is so nice all the features you get all the content that was taken out because Blizzard had to rush to put together the original Diablo to meet the release date is all in there so you get this really nice expanded story it's all in HD and it looks wonderful so we are going to go ahead and go over how exactly you can get your copy today for free and in high definition so what you're gonna want to do first is you're gonna want to go to this website right here winrar.com now you can also go ahead and get a couple of other programs but this program is for free and I'm pretty sure that you might have future uses for it later Windows PC does have a built-in software program that you can use to open up some of these files but WinRAR makes it a little easier for all of you people out there who aren't really Windows PC or computer literate when it comes to downloading, uploading, and doing stuff that might be seemed a little bit more technical. So it is free. That's the first thing you're going to need to do. The second thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the second link underneath this WinRAR link win raw link that I'm gonna have below in the description section and that's archive.org now archive.org has done an awesome job because Diablo has been out like I said almost 20 years I think we still got like another five years so it, it's been out about 12 to 15 years now and quite literally you don't want to have to pay for another one of these okay you do not want to have to pay another 30 50 I, I I think the PlayStation version of Diablo right now is like a hundred to five hundred dollars on eBay I'll pass I'll, I'll, I'll keep my disc but you can also get Diablo for free and in HD and you don't need a disc anymore so go to archive.org and go ahead and download the ISO image here on to the right you'll see where it says download options it says ISO image or torrent and what you want is the ISO image it is exactly 572.3 megabytes the exact same amount of megabytes that the disk actually is from the original Diablo game this thing is about roughly 575 megabytes so you're going to want to download that ISO right over here on the right hand side. Once you do that, you're going to have access to all of the stuff on the inside of the Diablo game. Okay, here comes the fun part. You've literally, quite literally, gotten halfway through setting up Diablo 1 HD for free. The third thing you need to do is click the third link in the description below this video and you're gonna wanna go to the actual mod or the upgrade itself and this is the website here the website has two upgrades available the first one is Diablo 1 HD mod and this thing right here as you can see where I'm highlighting it's only 32 megabytes so once you download the ISO and once you go ahead and save that to your computer it'll probably be in like your downloads folder you'll see the ISO that has 573 megabytes plus the little upgrade which is the HD mod for 32 megabytes now the mod that's underneath the HD upgrade is the multiplayer so if you're interested in doing multiplayer with a couple of people download that one as well I'm not gonna go over how to install it. It, it, it it's very easy it's very simple but for right now we're just focusing on Diablo 1 HD for free so that's the third thing that you're gonna need to download and that is it that is literally it that's one half if you wanna do the whole setup quicker without having to go through three to four downloads 
you can go ahead and use my personal link below and you can download the whole thing ready to go so all you would need to do is download WinRAW and then click the download link that I've provided for you and you're good to go you can literally start playing the minute you go ahead and download it really easy super simple and you get a free great game that's been out for like 10 to 15 years people love the game and I highly recommend you start with the first installation of the series before Diablo 4 gets released Diablo Immortal takes place between Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 so it's kind of good to know the whole story before you jump into Diablo 4 anyways so let's go ahead and let's say you downloaded WinRA you downloaded the ISO and you downloaded the mod right okay so you're all set you're good to go well the next thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and check your file explorer and your file explorer is going to basically go ahead and have all your stuff thrown right into your downloads now we're looking at my desktop because I already have everything installed but I'm gonna go over it for you so you're gonna go to downloads and as you can see over here I got a couple of things that I'm basically saving or using for later and once you install WinRAW you're gonna start seeing icons that look like little books that are stacked up similar to these and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create a folder on your desktop that says Diablo HD okay that's the first thing you need to do once you do that you go ahead and you go into your actual Diablo ISO this is the one that they actually give you from archive.com so as you can see it's got a couple of books it's all together with WinRA and all you have to do is just double click it and from there you'll get another window and in that window you'll find a little file and that little file in there is going to be called Diablo or Diabdat.mpq I have it highlighted right here on the screen and you're gonna want to extract to so you're just gonna hit extract to and then you're gonna go desktop and then you're gonna go to Diablo HD and then you're gonna hit OK so once you do that you're literally almost there once you have that extracted into your Diablo HD folder what's gonna end up happening is that you're gonna wanna go to the Diablo 1 HD download or the HD mod so once you go ahead and you open that you'll see that it has its own little bits of folders or items and content it does have a folder for data which is something that you're gonna need but it has everything inside it's all good to go it's all set up so basically what you do is you right click on that little stack of books and then you're gonna get an option in your options menu all the way over here at the top for me and it's gonna say open with WinRAW extract files extract here extract Diablo 1 HD so what you want to do is you want to hit extract files and then from there you're gonna want to go ahead and pick where it is that you want to extract it to so you just go desktop Diablo HD and then you go ahead and you hit OK and everything will go into your Diablo folder from there you're all set you're good to go you go ahead and you literally go to your desktop you open your Diablo HD folder that you created and you should have the Diabdat from the archive.org and you should have all of the files there from the Diablo HD mod you are now done you are all set and quite literally good to go when it comes to installing Diablo 1 for free and in HD so now that you've got it installed and now that you're all good to go 
all you do is click the button that says Beelzebub. It, it should be pretty obvious because it's going to have the same logo as the original Diablo game. So you just double click that button and then you'll see a nice HD intro. You'll see everything quite literally all the way until you get to this screen right here. And as you can see on the screen that I'm showing you right now with the little hand that's uh, in the, I guess it's a metal gauntlet, at the bottom of the screen you'll see where it says that it is actually a mod. So I'm going to just click into my window here. You can see that the hand's now moving. Okay, so it actually doesn't say it here, but it is modded. It is good to go. Everything is in HD. There we go. Okay, so you got to click the next menu. So when you click the next menu, you'll actually go ahead and notice right over there at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen that it is a modded version of the original Diablo game. And you can already tell, the Diablo logo, quite literally, is on fire, totally burning, and in high definition. You get all these great features, you get all this wonderful stuff. So we're gonna just go ahead and we're gonna go into my warrior character. And as you can see, everything is in HD. You can quite literally do everything from adjust the amount of speed that the character walks all the way until getting a full description for the monsters that you're fighting. If you notice, the little exclamation mark above the little guy over here in orange, that's something that gets added in with this Diablo HD add-on or downloadable content. And the add-on quite literally does more than that as well. You get new characters like this priest over here which is Hermain the Priest. And you also get a really awesome feature as well, which is if you're familiar with Diablo 2 or Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, you get a waypoint. So now instead of having to use town portals to go ahead and travel back and forth and back and forth from quests just to get rid of items from your bag to who knows what, you can literally use a waypoint now. So going back and forth between a dungeon and the main area of the town is super easy. I hate to break it to you guys, but not only did you just save yourself $10 having to join a game service company and making it to where you're missing out on practically a good chunk of the story, you did it for free. and you now have Diablo 1 on your Windows PC without having to use a CD. So if you're like me and you like saving these things because you can scratch them up and quite literally ruin them super easy, I mean, people use these things as coasters nowadays because it, it, it's that simple to ruin a CD. It's a lot harder to ruin a Blu-ray, but CDs are so fragile. And you basically just saved yourself so much time, so much effort, and on top of that, you get to actually have the full experience of the game. All the stuff inside of the Diablo HD mod, quite literally, is stuff that was removed from the game, and it was all put back into it. Because Diablo 2 Resurrected came out, Diablo 3 came out, and now Diablo 4 is about to get re-released. Excuse me, get released. And, um... What can I say? You got a 10 out of 10 game for free. You don't have to pay $50, $100, $500 for a disc copy. You can now play for free. So like, subscribe, comment, and uh, go ahead and leave any little bits of info that you want down below. I stream on Twitch all the time, or at least whenever I can, so feel free to go ahead and subscribe and follow on Twitch as well, and uh, join in the fun, because 
at the moment, Diablo 1 in HD is the thing, and it is definitely something that you want to start with before you go ahead and make the purchase for Diablo 4. I highly recommend it. It is super easy, it's super quick, and it only will take less than 10 minutes of your time. It might take you a little longer if you don't have that good of an internet connection, but literally anybody with a hotspot, anybody with Wi-Fi, if you're not using an actual landline cable, can do what I just showed you in under 10 minutes. And like I said, just follow the steps that I've literally told you in the video. I'll also throw the steps down below as to what you have to do in order to get your copy of Diablo 1 in high definition for free down below. So just do me that one small little favor and hit the like button, or it might be on this side, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You don't need to hit the bell because right now I'm just kind of putting stuff up as I go. So um, definitely do that for me. Definitely spread the news that you can still get Diablo 1 for free and in HD. And don't pay $10. Don't pay $20. Don't pay any of that money because it's a game that's already been out for so long that you can literally download the whole game for free. They're literally trying to resell you a game that's already been sold. We're not GameStop. We're not somebody who's in the business of making money off of something that literally has made the industry thousands upon hundreds of thousands to even millions of dollars. So please like, please subscribe, and you will definitely see more content later. I'm actually going to be going ahead and doing a video on how to get Warcraft number one, Warcraft number two, and a few other classic window PC games onto your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC later. So feel free to check back. You don't need to click the bell, but definitely do me the favor and like and subscribe down below. My name is Junior and I hope you enjoy fighting the forces of darkness with your new copy of Diablo 1 HD. Also, if you like a lot of good Diablo lore or if you like to know the story of Diablo, Check out the links below and you'll find a great channel for all the stuff that's been going on in the Diablo universe and world of Sanctuary. With that, all I gotta say is be safe and have a grand day today.